I'm Mike Mouse 74, and this is a Transformers video review. For the Transformers community, please subscribe to Mike Mouse 74. Hey, what's going on, Mouseketeers? Mike Mouse 74 with the Transformers video review. From Transformers Robots in the Skies, this is Grimlock. So, on the back, here it shows the 10 steps from robot mode back to dyna mode. Here's Grimlock in his robot mode. His Dyna mode. Here it shows that Grimlock has a little gimmick, and I'll show that off a little bit later on. Then here you can download the app, then you can scan, and then you can unlock and play. So I think that about does it for the box. Without further ado, let's get Transformers Robots in the Sky's Grimlock out of here and see what he's all about. Okay, so here we have Grimlock in his Dyna mode. Let's have a close look at the details. So Grimlock has a lot of black and green paint apps. As for some of the details, Grimlock has some gold paint details on the inside of the leg. He has some more gold paint details on the inside of the leg right there. In the head area, he has some silver paint details on the bridge of the nose. The same on the other side, some silver paint details on the bridge of the nose. His teeth are painted silver. His eyes and on the other side are painted blue. And some gold paint details on the top of the head. Grimlock has a chomping feature. There's a lever on top of the head. When you move the lever back and forth, he has that chomping motion. I thought that was kind of neat. So for a size comparison in Dyna mode, here we have Grimlock. And here we have the three-step changer Grimlock. So to transform Grimlock into his robot mode, and the transformation can be fun, believe it or not. The first thing you want to do, you just want to move the arms down, just like that, just to kind of get them out of the way. And then from here, you want to separate the dino leg like this, and then there's a black peg right there, and a peg hole on the side of the chest right there. You want to peg that in there just like that, and then do the same thing on the other side. You want to unpeg the dino leg and bring that up. There's a black peg right there, and a peg hole on the side of the chest right there. You want to peg that in there just like that and then you can bring the dino arms back all the way just like that then on the back you want to move this out like this and then separate down the center of the tail or the back like this and then tuck the tail in and i like how they incorporated a fake tail on the other side i thought that was kind of cool and then from here you want to bring this out like this and then there's a slot right there and a peg on the uh, on the inside of the tail here. You just want to peg that in there just like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. You want to bring this out like this. And again, there's a slot right there. And a peg on just on the other on the other side right there. And peg that in there just like that. And then you want to bring the feet out. Do the same on the other side. Bring the feet out just like that. With the arms, you can bring the hands out just like that, and then you can rotate the hand all the way out like this. Do the same thing on the other side. You can bring the hand out like this, and then rotate the arm all the way around just like that. With the head, you want to unpeg the head from the body just like that. It doesn't really peg in anything, it just kind of fits right in that groove right there just like this. And here we now have Grimlock in his very cool looking robot mode. So let's have a close look at the figure and his details. Up close face shot. So now for a size comparison in robot mode, here we have Grimlock, and here we have that three-step changer Grimlock. So to transform Grimlock back to Dyna mode, again, the transformation is a lot of fun and yet simple. On the upper body of Grimlock, there's two peg holes, one there and one right there. When you flip the head back or forward, there's two green tabs, one there and one right there. You just want to tab these together just like that. 
with the arms, you can rotate the arm all the way around like this, and then you can flip the hand in like that. Do the same thing on the other side. You can rotate the arm all the way around just like this, and then flip the hand in just like that. Then with the bottom half of Grimlock, you can take the feet, flip the feet down like that, do the same on the other side, just flip the foot down like that. And then you can come to the back and then bring this out or untap it like this, flip this all the way up like that, push that in, do the same on the other side. You can untap this, flip this up, and then push that in like that. And then with the tail, you can bring the tail out like this. And then just give everything a good squeeze, make sure everything's in nice and tight like that and then you can push this in to fill in the gap right there just like that so from here you want to untab the dino legs from the side of the chest like this and then they'll fit right inside there there's grooves there and a groove right there just slide that in there just like that do the same thing on the other side just untab the dino legs from the side of the chest just like that and again there's little grooves on the uh, side right there just slot that in there just like that straighten everything all out you can move the arms back up and here we have Grimlock back into his dino mode so that about wraps it up for this review this is Mike Mouse 74 and you've just seen from the new Transformers Robots in the Skies this is Grimlock. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformers community. Stay tuned for lots more reviews to come. Join me and all my friends in my Facebook group called The Mouse Trap. You can also follow me on Twitter. I also have a Might Mouse 74 community. All those links will be in the description down below. I want to thank everybody for watching. And as always, guys, take care, everyone.